2020 and I just want a new start and I want to just be better than I was last year. I, I don't know if like I ever wanted to do one of these like a type of one of these videos because I don't know how I feel about putting this type of information out like because I seem like to me I feel like this is enclosed it should be private but at the same time me being private is a con of my life so I am trying to be more open and also I am trying to be I guess more active on YouTube <laughs> I guess to jump into all of it um, January is kind of a tough month for me now a lot has happened last year of January and you know it's, it's a recap and uh, I just I think a lot so a lot of emotions are flowing January 22nd would be the anniversary of my me and my ex two-year anniversary and to make things worse I saw him last week at the basketball game um, and I had like a slight panic attack it's just he he's a trigger I am not gonna say I hate him but if he was on fire and I had a bottle of water I would drink it there's just you know a lot that I um that has scarred me from their relationship and at a young age I shouldn't I shouldn't be like that. This month is always my, I mean, this month is my dad's birthday month, but at the same time, um, my dad almost died this month last year. Even though it wasn't like hard on me, now it's kind of like affecting me. Does it affect, like, he almost died a week before his birthday, and it was over something petty, and it was stupid. Um, my 2019 was very depressing. This year, I told myself I wasn't going to be depressed, even though that's kind of... You know, I just can't be depressing anymore. It's, it's a process, but I, I've been, I don't know, okay, for the past two weeks, however long we've been in November, January. I've been fine. I have been sad, but I've, I found a better way to distract myself. Like it's, it's. I've, it's been easier to distract myself now. Um, I did my hair today. And for the last few months, I haven't been... I haven't been doing my hair like I usually do. Because doing my hair is a distraction to me. And it keeps me busy. But I haven't been caring about my hair much. I usually just put in a bun and go. And I haven't been as creative with my hair anymore. I broke up with my boyfriend um, about a month ago. Um, it was a week before Christmas break. It's a lot. 
I can't be dependent on somebody for happiness and um our relationship was just too fast I wasn't ready and I wasn't happy not saying that I, I wasn't happy with him I just wasn't happy within myself and I couldn't I couldn't find that within myself and I don't like the fact that I had to rely on somebody else to provide me happiness I've been very very suicidal and in December I believe it was in December I yeah because it was the break it was like three or four days before Christmas I really wanted to kill myself I made a plan and I um it was like I tried to act it out and then I talked to my brother and um, he told me some stuff. I, I didn't tell my brother what I wanted to do, but I told him about a situation that has happened before where I wanted to get myself. And um, I told Jerry. And even after, you know, he tried to convince me not to I didn't really care because, you know, everything is just so <laughs> difficult. Nothing is helping. I don't want to be here. And I told my parents <laughs> one day, um, one day last year, I was at school and I don't know, I was just like real down and my the guidance counselor, she came and got me and I told her that I've been suicidal before and um she asked if it was okay to tell my parents. And after a while I was just like, you know, go ahead because I already know what they're gonna say. She called my mom, she didn't answer. She called my dad. When she told my dad that he really didn't did not seem to care at all, cause he asked to talk to he asked to talk to me, and he all he did was ask me what was wrong, and nothing was wrong with me at the time. I didn't. Yeah, you just can't ask me what's wrong, and I'm supposed to know. I don't know what's wrong, and then. After that, he asked me what time he was supposed to pick me up from school. That car ride home was, um, it, it hurt a lot because what he said, the stuff he was saying made it seem that I have no reason to be depressed because I have it good in life. I, I like I recorded some of the conversation in the car. My dad is is not very aware that it doesn't matter where you grow up, how you grow up. You can have depression. My mom um She, before all of this happened, before the goddess counselor talked to her, um, she was talking to my aunts and stuff one time about about the fact she was talking to my aunt and my grandma about the fact that kids don't have a reason to kill themselves, and they she basically said. The same thing my dad said, we have no reason to depress to be depressed. So that was like 
it's hard for me where I couldn't talk to my mom about anything. I couldn't talk to my mom in general because me and her never had a relationship like that because she's really judgmental and she always puts the blame on me in every situation and she ne she never acknowledges her wrongs. Um, I just never had a parent to talk to because um, they didn't care. My mom, she, she attempted, but she attempted to care for me, but we went to go work out together. I wanted to go on myself, but she tagged along, and, um, yeah, and she, we sat down, and she asked me what was wrong, and what she needed to do for me to not be like this. She told me that we sh that I need to go get medication, but I'm not getting medication because that is that's just not gonna happen. I'm not gonna be on that shit. And um, she told I told her how her children are sh like she puts her children on me, and that is stressful for me because I, they also. Hold me up to these high standards where I have to make good grades and I have to go to college and I have to do all of this. I have to be successful. And in order to do that, I have to do my homework. I have to study. I have to do all of this. And my school gives a lot of homework. And I don't have time for that because I'm babysitting these demon children. And when I try to discipline them myself, knowing that I'm not, I'm not trying to make them like how I was, bad and always going against what my mom said. I'm trying to make them a better me, and yet when I try to do that, I'm in the wrong. So you can have your demon children, and I won't do anything. I'm gonna let them talk back to you, do all of that. You can, you can raise your children. I'm not gonna do that for you anymore. <laughs> But she told me that she was going to stop putting them on me as much. That was a lie. And she asked me, did I want to go somewhere by myself for a while? I was like, sure. Never did that. And she still makes me uh, take care of the children all the time. She won't allow me to grow up and experience. And I feel like... You gotta let me have my mess ups. If you tell me not to do something, I'm gonna wanna do it. And I told her, she told me that out of respect for the person who told you not to do it, you should not do it. I, all you do is bully me into not doing something. You bully me by putting your children on me all the time, providing me stress. And I try to help sometimes by disciplining your children, but you don't want me to do that. So you're gonna continue to be stressed also because your children do not have manners and are not disciplined. <sighs> Suicide and depression and anxiety can be influenced by peers by your surroundings and um food uh things that you eat depression can be anything it can be influenced by anything i never want to be home because of the of my family school is um is hard for me but I do like a lot of extracurricular activities because of I never want to be home. And my mom gets mad. Like, they tell me to, to do stuff, but they get mad that I'm doing stuff. People notice me changing. And people notice, 
I be going through it. I've been trying to come to school so happy to make it look like nothing's wrong. But this year, 2019, I didn't care about what was bothering me. I didn't, I like, I showed every emotion wrong with me and I did not care. I did, I was tired of hiding my emotions because no matter how much I hide, no matter how much I push things aside, it's always gonna come back to me. And it happens every time. I'm the type of person to to push things aside at the time. And then later on, is it comes back. And I, it, it hurts worse because I let, I let stuff build up. Me and Jerry had a good relationship. I tried. I try not to affect him. Because I knew something like this was going to happen. Because I knew I wasn't ready. It was a, a distraction for me. He helped me cope with a heartbreak. I was so, so, so mad. And so embarrassed. People can be really cruel. But <laughs> I got heartbroken because I didn't listen. So I blame myself for um I guess, um, falling into that trap, instead of, like, dealing with my pain, I, I let Jerry kind of somewhat distract me from it. I should have just, um, coped with it and found out on my own how to get over it. I regret kind of looping him in in the first place. The breakup was for me to find my happiness, for me to learn how to be happy without somebody else giving it to me. So overall, that's my 2019. I gotta learn how to love myself. And only focus mainly on myself because I I do things for everyone else instead of doing things for me. And that always makes me less aware of my problems, but that causes me to overflow once in a while. But the good news is that I haven't been suicidal in a month. Almost a month. Almost a month. Jerry still has a place in my heart. And he always will. I really hope that he takes this and find happiness within himself also that everybody understands what what was like i understand the point of this video i guess the point of this video is just to tell you what's been going on with me and i mean that what i told you is not even a half of it it's just the beginning i'm confused it's just best if you you just not keep everything enclosed and that's what i want to do not keep everything enclosed so i guess that is the point of this video